Today we'll be exploring the beautiful streets of Mexico while capturing its vibrant essence and sketching some characters we encounter along the way. From the colorful trajineras of Xochimilco to the energetic Lucha Libre, I'll be exploring some of the most quintessential Mexican spots. So let's go out there and find some cool stuff. And right now we're at Parque de Mexico, Park of Mexico in La Condesa, which is one of the prettiest parks that I've seen in my life. It looks like a Jurassic Park park to me because like all the trees are huge and it's so, so, so green. But yeah, people here are so happy. People here are very stylish. Everyone comes with their dogs, tons of dogs. Yeah, and it's just such a beautiful energy. And I will say I'm feeling very, very inspired. However, as inspired as that park's making me feel, we're not sketching there today, unfortunately. So I'm trying to get the most quintessential Mexican things that I can. Today, we're gonna be heading to a castle, this thing that castle, and I'm about to meet my friends to head over there. Also, we're gonna be going to Las Trajineras, which are the really colorful boats. And then we're also going to La Lucha Libre, which I'm very, very, very excited for. Cue the soundtrack. Lucha, 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 lucha. Okay, and over there are my friends. I was expecting them to wave, but they're way too into themselves. They're not noticing me right now. That's one. that's Fernando. So I was talking to my friends. <laughs> and that is basically Juan mocking me. That little <laughs> But anyway, time to head to our first stop. I know I said we were going to the castle over there, but I was fooled and there was a change of plans. We're going to the Museum of Anthropology instead. Here, I learned a lot about the pre-colonial civilizations and cultures that inhabited Mexico. Genuinely, there's so many things that they don't teach us in the history books. I still don't get how they were able to build all these crazy pyramids and like all these temples, but it's very fascinating and they're very, very beautiful. But now it's time to do what we came here to do, sketch some people. And yes, if you see me looking up, it's because I'm gonna sketch someone who's all the way up there. These guys here are called Voladores de Papantla, and they are performing a ritual that's over 2,500 years old. It represents a salute to the sun in times of drought, and it's a petition for rain. Each one of the men represents a cardinal point, and their descent to the ground symbolizes the rain falling from the sky. I love these ribbons here and how they flow in the air, also how colorful they are, so I'm gonna add those in. All right, and now we're done with the first sketch. Here's the rough, and I'm gonna add some color to it in post. And that's nice, but today I wanna go even further. Wow. This is way better. I figured since I am traveling, why not turn these into little postcards? So I added the name of the character, some abstract elements in the background. The circles with the palette, they look like a sun, which could be a little nod to the ritual itself. But yeah, overall, I love the colors. I am super, super happy with it. And now that we have that done, we are gonna head over to Xochimilco, which is the river with the really colorful boats. We're gonna ride on one of those trajineras, and that's where we're gonna do our second sketch. So let's go to that. All right, right now we're in Xochimilco, this little river with Boat. It's sort of like a boat community similar to Venice or something, but in Mexico. And then you can just ride your boat and buy things. You know, you can buy food, you can buy drinks, mariachis can hop on. And yes, I'm gonna try to draw something here, even though that might be a little bit hard. Also, one second, where is it? You come here, you have to embrace the culture. Look at these. I am literally eating crickets and that's fine. It's wild, but yeah. Anyway, time to do our second illustration, and guess what? This mariachi got here just in time. Mm, and we're gonna do the guy in white here.
He's playing a typical mariachi instrument called guitarrón, basically a big guitar, but it's actually a six string bass. Also, let's get some of the boat in there. And don't you worry, if you thought I spent the entire boat ride sketching, no, I didn't. I made sure to have my phone as well. All right, and we're just done with our little trip on the boat. It was lovely, it was amazing. Got all the boats. It's insane. Here's the rough sketch. I'm gonna add some color in post. For this one, I really wanted to capture the essence of Xochimilco with the colors. Um, it's a little bit simpler, but I really wanted to draw a mariachi while I was in Mexico, and I think this was the perfect opportunity. And now we're off to Lucha Libre, because we need to do Lucha Libre while we're in Mexico. Whatever that was. Guandulito. And for this last one, I decided to just draw a mask. Yes, the poses are extremely fun and dynamic and interesting, but they're moving too much, the lighting is not the best, people are screaming around me, so I'm very overwhelmed, but the masks are really pretty, so let's just do that. I'm basing my mask mostly off of this one here. His name is Fugaz, and I really like the star and how colorful it is. Um, and also here's Juan, clearly having a great time. The match is almost done and I ended up having a really good time. So, I could not leave without first, yep, getting my own mask. Alright, and now here's our final rough sketch from today at the Lucha Libre. Let's add some color to it. I am so happy with this one, I love the blue palette. I also added a few shapes on the front to represent a ring, a fighting ring, and the circles on the sides, they represent lights. And honestly, I think this is my favorite one. Let's also bring back the other two sketches we did today. We did one volador, one mariachi, and then one luchador. And I am very happy with those three. You know, I'm sure there's so much more to see in Mexico, but listen, Mexico, you exceeded my expectations. I loved you, love your culture, I love your food. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.